versus battle. Fighter number one and number two, Krillin variation three and Kid Gohan variation four. After arriving on Namek and realizing they have to go against the tyrant of the universe, Frieza, they witness him laying waste to some of the Namekian villages, which is unacceptable to Kid Gohan who rushes in and smashes Dodoria through a house. They are on a quest to get the Dragon Balls from Namek to wish back the people killed by the Saiyan invasion back on Earth. After befriending the Namekians, they take them to Guru, the elder of planet Namek, who awakens their hidden power, allowing them access to their innermost strength so they can go and fight the Freezer Force army with more ferocity. Fighter number three, Goldo, variation two. After Gohan, Krillin, and Vegeta cause too many problems for Frieza, he contacts and enlists the help of the Ginyu Force, some of the most fearsome fighters throughout the universe. Our heroes find themselves outmatched in a 5 on 3 fight against the Ginyu Force, their infamy and strength far above their own. They are hopelessly outmatched and outgunned. It is time for the first fight in the Ginyu Force matches. Who will win? Gohan and Krillin versus Goldo. Are you ready for the fight? Gohan Variation 4 and Krillin Variation 3 against Goldo Variation 2. Round 1, Stat Points. The stat round will test the health key and stamina of each of the combatants. They will gain or lose points equal to half of a bar extra over two full bars of health or five bars of key or stamina that they have. My Freezer Ace character has two and a half extra bars of health, four of key and four of stamina, giving him ten and a half total points. How good are Gohan and Krillin's stats? Let's find out. We're going to take a mix of their health, key and stamina, so we have an average to count them as one fighter, even though they're two. Health plus 9.5, key plus 1, and stamina plus 1, giving them an average of 5.8 total points. How good are Goldo's stats? Let's find out. Health plus 0.5, key plus 0, and stamina plus 0.5, giving him 1 total point. Round 2! Damage per second. In this round, we will measure the time between the first and last spark of each of the three main combos, the heavy, light, and mixed combinations, in conjunction with their damage to find out their damage per second. Starting things off is Kid Gohan with his full light combo chain. Next is his full heavy combo chain. And finally, his mixed combo chain is heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. Second up to the plate is Krillin with his full light combo chain. Next is Krillin with his full heavy combo chain. And finally his mixed combo chain, his heavy light, heavy light, heavy. The times have been recorded and the damage is set. Let's find out their average DPS against Goldo. Krillin and Gohan against Goldo have a DPS of 894. Moving back in is Goldo with his full light combo chain. How weird. Next is his full heavy combo chain. And finally his mixed combo chain is heavy light, heavy light, heavy. Which is actually pretty decent. The times have been recorded and the damage is set. Let's find out Goldo's average DPS against Krillin and Gohan. Against Kid Gohan and Krillin, Goldo has a DPS of 1,223. Round 3, Super Moves. Starting off the Super Round is Kid Gohan with Rise to Action to recover some of his stamina. Next, he has Meteor Strike to set up easy stamina breaks in his two-hit strike move. Next is After Image to evade attacks. Next is Masenko, a quick firing beam move. His first ultimate is Explosive Assault, the move he used against Freezer to surprise and decimate him in his second form when he thought that he killed Krillin.
laying down a barrage of key blasts followed by a single beam attack. It's a pretty strong move. And his evasive is super front jump. Now we move on to Krillin and his first super move is rise to action to recover some of his stamina. Next is Solar Flare, a two key bar move to blind the enemy that he used in the anime to blind Dodoria to help him and Dende and Gohan get away after kicking Dodoria through a house. Next is Meteor Strike to set up an easy stamina break. Next is Kamehameha, a move that can charge up for more damage. You know what this is. His first ultimate is Full Power Energy Wave, the super least generic move in the game. Next, his second ultimate move is Chain Destructo Disc Barrage to send a barrage of Chain Destructo Discs. And his evasive is Super Back Jump. How good are Gohan and Krillin's supers? Their total soup damage output is 25,313. Their damage per key bar is 5,457. None of their evasives do any damage. They have no utility skills. Both of them have regen skills that recover stamina. One of them has blindness skill in solar flare, we have protection skills in after image, and they have no awoken skills. Next we go over Goldo Supers with Fighting Pose H to reduce your damage taken. Next is Super Guard to protect yourself from all incoming damage as long as you have key. Next is Consecutive Energy Blast, a super generic move. Next is Time Control to freeze the enemy where they stand. His first ultimate is Full Power Energy Blast Volley. The least generic move in the game. No hate. Don't hate. No hate. His second ultimate is Paralysis, his signature move to freeze the enemy and then send a gigantic ice pick their way, freezing them solid. Not sure why it doesn't just do damage. His evasive is Psycho Escape to completely freeze time and run out of the way of damage, which he used in the anime to escape the key blasts of Gohan and Krillin. Let's see how good Goldo's supers really are. His total super damage output is 11,244. His damage per key bar is 1,606. His evasive doesn't do any damage. He has a utility skill. He has no regen skills. He has a blindness skill. He also has a protection skill, but he has no awoken skill. Pretty diverse moveset, but doesn't do much damage. This would be quite interesting. Now it's time for the results. The winner of round one stats goes to Krillin and Gohan. The winner of round two DPS goes to Goldo. Third and finally, the winner of round three supers goes to Krillin and Gohan. This was an interesting matchup that Goldo managed to win the DPS round four, but unfortunately his stats and his super moves are not as good on average as Kid Gohan and Krillin's. In the anime, they were giving him an extremely hard time until he used his time control, in which case he would have gained the upper hand. But in this rematch, we don't use cheap tactics like in the anime. This is truly based on nothing but stats, DPS and supers. The winner is Krillin and Gohan. What the hell? You see in this damn Goldo went and got himself killed? Goldo is defeated, but four of the Ginyu Force remain. Raccoon, Berta, Jace, and of course, Captain Ginyu himself. Next up to the plate, Raccoon steps forward to take on Vegeta, Prince of All Saiyans. This gigantic loaf looks like Nappa, but is way stronger with his strange red hair. But Vegeta has a secret. He learned to hide his power. Next on Axonius Rex, it's Vegeta versus Raccoon. 